What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is episode number 90 actually, which is pretty insane if you think about it. That's like... At three-ish episodes a week. Like, I know it hasn't been three the entire time, but that's like... A long time <laughs> but anyway uh, I'll plan something special for 100 we'll see if it's gonna happen or not but anyway I'm back with like dimension changes and stuff hopefully this looks better when we actually grab the battle I'm gonna be using the same DMT water spamish offense team um, just because you know offense is a lot of fun I feel like it is my favorite play style um, I just don't really have a good sense of playing balance um, I find a really hard time in trying to even out my offense and my defense, um, and, and like that's why I like stall because it's like okay, I can just focus on just defense and like offense because I can focus on just offense and all that great stuff. Um, but it looks like it's gonna take a while to find a battle. Understandably, it's like almost midnight, so we're gonna go ahead and pause it um, until I get one, and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, good luck, have fun, buddy. Uh, <laughs> this guy's looking to be using some sort of trick roomy stuff down here. Um, and then some kind of a weird fire water grass core, but you know, I'm not gonna knock it until uh, Until we see what it can do anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lead crook because I'm assuming he's gonna lead with a uh, He did not lead with what I thought he would lead with I thought he was gonna lead with golem But this works too because now I get a free knockoff and you know anytime you get to click knockoff for free. That's great He's actually focus sash trick room. Um, that's scary <laughs> He's gonna go for the fighting move more than likely um, focus blast this this thing gets focus blast right learn the I think that that's I butchered that <laughs> Focus blast can't learn focus blast, but I probably can learn energy ball I'm not actually too scared of this thing to be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get up my rocks right here um, as it sick roll <laughs> That's actually really nice um Right here, I'm gonna go into Dragalge because I can take uh, this hit pretty easily. It is a grass type attack. I will resist it, and then I'll probably double back, predicting a psychic type attack. Just trying to stall out as many turns of Trick Room as possible because um, that will help me a lot. And uh, the goal is to have Trick Room disappear as I die. Uh, he just ends up going for a Dark Pulse, which is unfortunate. So, um, is this gonna be. When did he set up Trick Room? Trick room turn one, it'll go, it'll end at turn five. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go to Sharpedo and I'm gonna click protect. Um, reason I'm gonna do that is because I need to bait out the energy ball. And uh, wait, is it gonna end at the end of the? It ends at the end of this turn. That's pretty sick. All right, so that ended up working better than I thought it would. I could have gone in, into Ente and uh, just clicked e-speed but that would have given him a free switch into a lot of different things i just want to go ahead and take that out right there which i am able to do which is pretty nice um lapras actually has pretty threatening coverage now that i think about it versus my team but he chooses to go into a scavalier so you know i'm good with it um i'm probably just gonna go straight out into crobat um because what i don't want him doing is uh going for that that would have hurt Entei a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to pivot around and get Entei in for as free as possible. He has leftovers. Uh, we're probably going to see a knockoff right here. Uh, that's what I would imagine. So I'm going to go into Entei. Actually, getting rid of Band is kind of nice. Oh, I completely forgot to like not have my music be dumb. Um, so I'm going to be hella unprofessional right now. I'm going to go back to what I was on, which was this. That was not that. It was not that either. Got it. Okay, I gotta change that to repeat. Sorry about that, guys. That I know that's super unprofessional, but I, it's also like I'm kind of trapped in the middle of a live at that point. So uh, I just ended up taking out that Escavalier with Sacred Fire right there. So uh, jumping back out to the advantages, he goes into Golem right here. Uh, Entei isn't actually really that helpful for me for the rest of the match. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Sacred Fire because when you have that chance to get a burn, you usually click it. He clicks power up punch. He's life loop. <laughs> Help. <laughs> anyway, um, not actually that big of an issue for me. Because I can just click Sacred Fire, hope for a burn. I get it. Look at that. He just goes for the EQ, knocks me out. Um, which actually isn't all that bad. Because what I can do is not quite sweep him with this, which is mildly disappointing. Um, but it's okay. Because I can go into Gator and. Uh, 
If I were him, I would suck her right here. I would suck her so hard. Um, I'm going to SD. And the reason I'm going to do so is because Nom ate that hit up. And he's going to die at the end of this turn. Probably should have subbed, but it's okay. This um, forces him in a Roserade, which gives me a free switch into Crobat to take whatever hit that he wants to go for. I can threaten him out with a Brave Bird and click U-Turn. Get more hazard damage on something. That's always great. Um, as he does go for the Giga Drain. I don't think he can stay in right here because I do have two water types left. And given this is only one of two of his water resists, uh... I do have two strong water types left. He does choose to stay in, which is fine, because I'm just going straight to Dragalge. Um, if he does try to sleep me, it's like, you know, it's okay. Uh, goes for the HP Ice. Okay. That is certainly not as common, but it is very a very cool option. I can click Draco right here as he clicks Gleamer. It is not going to be able to kill me, and uh, Roserade is down. <laughs> so we are down to one water resist for him, which is amazing. Uh, given that it is also an ice type, so it is pretty threatening, um, I'd imagine we're going to see Arcanine right here, just because Arcanine is probably the thing that can threaten my team the most, and uh, that's what he does choose to go out into right here. Um, I'm sure he can knock me out with a Flare Blitz, um, but I kind of have to stay in and sack this thing. I'm going to try to get up a T-Spike uh, as he goes for a Dargan Pulse, uh, ends up knocking me out, which is fine. Um, is he like... Specs? what <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go into gator and uh what i'm gonna do with gator is i'm gonna click sub i just want to scout to see what this thing is gonna go for i highly doubt he's max speed willow um are we gonna see willow we do see willow that is beautiful because now i can sd and uh end up eating that e-speed <laughs> so things are not looking very good for him right now because i can just sd again he does end up breaking my sub with the e-speed and uh, now I can go straight away for the Waterfall Crunch. I can go for the plus four crunch, uh, which will knock him out easily. Um, I do take damage from Rocky Helmet, but it is all good at this point because, because, because this thing, this thing may, not, may not even be this crunch. Gator, Gator is, is stupidly strong. strong. It, it does not. So that is a very good game. He was actually at the bottom of the ladder. That kind of makes sense now. So we're going to go ahead and grab one more. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for me to find a battle. And this is kind of the issue uh, with me being relatively high up on the you know squad ladder is that um, the people who were like number one and stuff are like 150 points away from me. But the people who are at the bottom of the ladder are only like 250. So I find myself kind of in this weird middle ground to where it takes me a long time to find a battle. Don't know whether it's going to be a good one or a bad one, but we're going to go ahead and pause it and we will see the answer to that question when I return. Alright, we back. Um, good luck, have fun. And this guy's team is looking pretty hyper offensive, not even gonna lie. I'm gonna go and lead Crook though, um, because Crook does have a good lead matchup for some of the stuff he would lead with, including Aerodactyl, which is super nice for me. I'm just gonna go and uh, get my rocks up turn one. Um, I won't be able to taunt him because he is faster than me, which is a little disappointing. He just goes for the Aqua Tail. That did far too much. Help me. Um, and it's looking like this is gonna be a sack right here for me. Uh, just mainly because I don't have any anything else really to deal with this, uh, which is pretty disappointing. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to go straight away for the knockoff right here, and then I can get a free switch into either Dragalge or... Um, uh, either Dragalge or Feraligator. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what walls I need to break down for me to win with Sharpedo. And what I need to do for me to win with Sharpedo, I certainly need to weaken his uh, Fortress a little bit. Uh, gotta weaken that Rotom uh, to the point where I can knock it out with Ice Fang, and I gotta weaken that Mian Chao uh, just in case it is Scarfed. I will need to protect, so I gotta, I gotta think long term. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go into Dragalge probably right here, so I can click Draco um, and do a lot of damage. I don't; these things don't really run Earthquake. Um, well, watch him pull out the Earthquake right here just because I said that. No, he's actually gonna go into Fori, which is not going to appreciate that at all. <laughs> the, not a switch in, friend. Um, I'm just going to go for a... Uh, do I want to take an explosion? Is that Because that is a possibility. I'm going to go for a Draco right here. Uh, as uh, He is Custab, gets up his own rocks. So he is the hyper offense lead set. But now that that thing is gone, Shark has a lot easier time just plowing through his team. Um, which is really nice. <laughs> not even going to lie. So... Let me think about this right here. He goes into Shandy. Uh, pretty obvious that it's going to be Scarfed. Um, 
a T spike would kind of help because it helps me wear down Xiao, uh, and but but that's kind of it. Um, switch in for this is non-existent. Shandy does have a really fun time against this team, especially once Crook is gone. But I didn't really have a, have a whole lot of choice uh, versus Arrow right there. It's just something I gotta learn to adapt to with this team. Um, I do have a lot of natural bulk, and I'm kind of feeling a Dragon Tail. Although this is a good arrow check too, and it's a good Rotom switch in. Ugh. Let me think here. I'm probably just gonna go to Crobat. No, I need Crobat to check that thing. This is annoying, because um, like the scenario I'm envisioning in my head is that I use Entei to break that thing Sash. Uh, I protect with Shark, uh, knock that out with a Crunch, and then I have a field day from there. Um, right here, I'm going to detail. Uh, as he goes for the Shadow Ball, that did a good amount of damage, but I'm just going to be able to phase him out, which is always nice. He goes into Zam, which is actually another problem for me. Um, kind of thinking about just sacking this thing right here and I think that's probably what I'm going to do I'm gonna detail him just in case he makes a prediction he does not which is fine um, I'm assuming this is scarf shall although you never know Ugh, this is gross <laughs> that is 372 I hit 383 I will at speed which is very very nice I can probably just come in and click u-turn um, force him into Psy Shock, because um, I don't really think he's going to want to click any other move versus me. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn right here. Um, I either break his Sash, which I need to do to win, or I pick up momentum. Both things are very, very good. I will take either of them in this scenario. If he goes into Bat, I'm forced into Gator at that point. Um, that doesn't even bring him down to his Sash, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I'm going to make... I could make a risky play and go into Shark. Um, very risky play and go into Shark. Um, predicting the Psy Shock. Or I could go into Entei. I don't think I can risk Shark, as unfortunate as it is. So I'm going to go into Entei and uh, go ahead and sack this thing as he goes for the Focus Blast. So it's a good thing I didn't go to Shark right there. Um, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click E Speed. If he does get a free switch into Shandy, so be it, um, because Shandy will not be able to switch into Rocks thereafter, which he does do, so good play on his part. Um, not really anything I can do about this right here. I'm just going to E Speed, see what move he locks himself into. Um, I think he kind of has to lock himself into Shadow Ball right here. Um, either way, he just tricks, uh, tricks me specs as he gets banned. Okay, that's good to know. Um, cause that means Xiao is likely Scarf. He could be running like double Scarf. Um, cause I don't really see the reason for Rotom to be here. I'm gonna go ahead and Calc, um, uh, versus Rotom. What I can do, um, so let's see here. I need my boy Mega Sharpedo. Uh, this is Jolly. Versus, let me see, let me see, let me see. Rotom Mo. Cut, Rotom Cut. That is the one I want. Uh, are you Scarf? Ice Fang is pretty much 100% after rocks. Um, yeah, it is 100% after rocks. Look, well, look, looky there. Uh, I can lock myself into another move now. This is cool. Uh, I will at speed. I'm going to go straight away straight away straight away straight away because I have no reason not to. I will lock you out. Uh, worst case scenario, I get to scout another one of your sets, which is beautiful. And uh, looking like a Mega Shark Sweep right here. Um, as long as I do find a way to get two um, protects and or just one protect and then a kill, then I can Mega Evolve. It does go into the Wing Lizard here, which is a little bit troubling. Um, but I think my game plan versus this... Oh god, he does have EQ. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Gator, and I'm just going to click Waterfall. I don't think he can kill me with any one move that he has. Um, so Waterfall is a pretty safe play. I'm hoping he goes into Rotom, because I will want damage on that in order to sweep late game. Um, and I can force him into clicking Leaf Storm that way too, which actually don't force him into clicking Leaf Storm, but we're going to scout the set right here. Uh, that did 23%, that is stupid, and he's lefties. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Crunch right here, and uh, going for the Crunch will help me a lot actually. Um, I think I lose this game though. He willows. I should have subbed trash player. Uh, I'm going to go for the crunch. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and take an L this game. Unfortunate, but probably what's going to happen. He goes into Shao. So, 
miss, please, miss, please, friend, miss. Um, he'll probably just go for the U-turn in all honesty, but um, he actually goes for the high jump kick, which is pretty neat for me. Uh, that hits 339, that hits 317, so I gotta go into Crobat, which is fine. Because um, what I can do with Crobat is I can just go straight away for the uh, BB. Uh, as he just goes for a high jump kick, I will be able to knock me and chow out right here, which means I do not need two protects. I only need one. That's huge. Um, if I were him, I really would have sacked Zam right there and then gone into the Wing Lizard. Um, but he just chooses to go into this right now. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Roost, just like on off chance that he doesn't, that he is not able to kill me. Now I'm gonna go into Shark, and I think this is looking like a wrap as long as I don't miss my Ice Fang. We're actually gonna, gonna calc this Roost. Uh, Rotom Seed Defensive. Uh, Ice Fang will be able to kill that. Um, what if it's like 252 defense? Ice Fang still be still gonna be able to kill. Look at that. So I'm just gonna protect. I almost hit the Mega Evolve button. That would have been bad. Uh, but he just goes for the Aerial Ace right there. Um, kind of want to go for a Waterfall just to like make sure this isn't Scarf Zam. Not Scarf Zam. Um, yeah, this is a wrap. I'm clicking Waterfall, um, we'll be able to knock him out right here, so that is amazing. So unless he's like, um, Mach Punch Rotom, I think I've got it in the bag. Do I even have to risk Ice Fang? I don't even have to risk Ice Fang, I'm just clicking Crunch right here. Uh, we'll be able to take Rotom Mo out, so there it is, Shark, uh, cleaning up on the last game of the week, so I guess that's a fitting way to end it. And hey, he was actually kind of high up on the ladder. I will get a good amount of points for that, kinda wanna check where I am before I close it off. This humble brag. <laughs> anyway, so if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. I actually don't have a comment question of the video today. Um, I can make it about Smash, which I'm about to go play after I shower again. Just because, like, I'm a hygiene freak. I shower a lot. Um, hmm... What are you guys' Twitters? Um, I, this is like a really weird question, but I like, I, I really want to get to know you guys more because I feel that even though there's like comment question of the videos and there's like a decent level of interaction, um, I don't feel like I know you guys enough. So I'll probably follow some of you on Twitter if you guys want to drop your Twitter handles. I just, like, I just want to get to know you guys. It's not in like a weird stalkerish way. Like, oh, I want to see where my subs live because that's kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. That's enough on that. But with that, I urge you guys to subscribe. If you got actually, hold on. Before I get into that, also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, the link is in the description. Really helps when I'm like, can like tweet out small updates instead of having to make small update videos. You know what I'm saying? So you drop your Twitter handle. I'll check you guys out. You check me guys out. Almost like a follow for follow thing, but I'm just trying to get to know you. Okay, I've emphasized that enough. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.